Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha and I'm so grateful that you guys are watching, subscribing and commenting on my channel. I appreciate the support. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about a question that a 14-year-old INFJ asked me, Anna from Norway. Thank you for the question. Thank you for the email and thank you for listening to my videos. This is exactly the reason I do these videos is for a young INFJ like you, 14 year old. Can you imagine getting all these insights about yourself at that age? Can you imagine how much more powerful you would be and how much more changes you can make in the world and in your own, like impact in the world and in your own life? That's exactly what I want. I want all, all teen uh, INFJs, all of the INFJs in their 20s to listen to this so they can learn more about themselves. You know, these are the kind of things that I wanted to know when I was 14. I wanted to know why I'm so weird and why I do things the way I do. I wanted to understand myself better. And so Anna asked me specifically about herself and how she has these moments where, you know, if she's by herself, she's totally awesome and fine with herself. She loves herself. Her self-esteem is really high and she feels good about herself. As soon as she goes out into the universe, out into company, around society, other people, other things, for some reason, something will happen and it'll trigger her and it'll start doubt, making her doubt herself or start, you know, hating herself. And then it'll take a long time for her to for her to come back up to that level of loving herself again and having high self-esteem again, right? And she wondered to me, or she asked me, you know, if that's a typical INFJ thing, and if it's something that is reversible, or if something that's something that you can avoid, right? How can you love yourself so that people around you, no matter what they say, it doesn't bother you, right? So it's a gem of a question, and I'm so grateful that you asked this question because there's a lot to say on this subject, so I'll start. First of all, the main thing about an INFJ is we're perfectionists, right? So we want to be perfect. If anyone ever says anything to us in a critical manner or if they say anything to us in general, instantaneously we're trying to make sure that we meet that high standard of ourselves, right? And so if someone says, oh, you, you, you don't really look that great today or, oh, um, I read your, that a blog post that you wrote and it was, it was all right. There were a lot of gram grammatical mistakes in it, right? instantaneously we go into that spiral of over analyzing and overthinking right remember by ourselves it's really easy because we're doing the things that we want to do and we can tell ourselves that we're good and we're doing our best and we're working as hard as we can and so when i'm by myself i'm exactly the same way i feel really good about myself i feel like i'm making a difference in the world and i have i am making an impact i'm doing i'm living up to my potential as much as possible or trying to and I feel good about myself, right? As soon as I go out as well, the same thing happens. Something, someone will say something, right? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, you, you look like you're gaining a little bit of weight. Or, you know, they'll be like, oh, um, I read that blog post that you wrote and it, was, it wasn't that interesting or things like that, right? Now, a lot of these people, what they're doing, some people are doing it in order to trigger you, right? So you got to obviously remove those toxic people from your life. So that's one of the tips that I would absolutely give you is to be careful of the kind of people that you're hanging out with, right? Be extremely careful of the, the crowd that's around you. And that's one of the things that I recommend to INFJs all the time is to cull people out, right? If they're always giving you, if they're always putting you down and the minute you start talking to someone you feel crappy about yourself, there's a reason for it. It's not your fault, it is their fault. Because you want to be surrounded. I'm not saying that you know you should never be criticized and you're a perfect human being. Absolutely not. But there are different ways of doing it, right? There's absolutely different ways of doing it. Some people do it from a core of self-hate and 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 hatred in general. Some people do it from love. You know, they want you to be better. They want to enhance you. They want you to become the best version of yourself, right? And so I know I know the people in my life who are doing it from a core of love versus a core of hate, right? And a lot of those people who are doing it from a core of hate, I don't actually interact with them anymore. If they do message me saying something, I ignore. I don't. Remember. I sometimes even have them on mute, or maybe even I block them. Right? A lot of times I've blocked so many people because I just don't need that negativity in my. Life. I don't want that negativity in my life. I don't need it. I don't want it. There's no point to it. Why deliberately do you want to bring that into your life? I think I read this quote a long time ago. I don't know from whom. I think Elizabeth Gilbert. Anyway, she said that a friend of her says, if someone shits in your living room, you're not gonna leave it there. You're gonna take it out, you're gonna throw it away. 
And that's exactly the same thing as negativity. If someone puts negative, toxic shit into your, your vicinity, into your environment or into your head, you're not going to leave it there. You're not going to let it congeal there and, and decay and become stinky. No, you're going to take it out. You're going to clean it up and, and throw it away, right? So don't let people shit in your head is basically the essence of this. I hope that's not too, not too crude, but that is the essence of it, guys, because it is, it is our power and our responsibility to, responsibility to ourselves to make sure that our environments are not toxic to us. And a lot of individuals, as I said, they do it without even realizing that they're being negative. Right? My mom is the most loving person on this planet, but every time we speak, the, the first thing that comes out of her mind is a criticism. Now that's how she shows love to me, so I've kind of started to ignore it and, and I, I know what she's trying to do, so I don't, I don't really pay that much attention to it because I understand that's, that's her way of showing love. But I have a couple of friends in my life that I've kicked out of my life now. I used to have them, I guess. And they have the tendency to always spew negative bullshit, like always negative shit that I think to myself, why are you doing this? Are you trying to make me feel bad about myself? Or are you trying to make yourself feel better about yourself? What is exactly the purpose of this, right? Now again, as I said, I love criticism and I ask for feedback and criticism all the time. But it is the point of where it's coming from and what is the kind of idea behind it, right? Are you doing it because you want to make me a better version of myself? And I have many friends like that who do criticize me or send me feedback and they do it in a way where I feel loved and I feel like, okay, good, right, yeah, okay, cool, I can work on that and I feel like it's something that I want to work on because they care about me. And they know that if I improve on this specific item, then I'm going to get better and better and better, right? But some other people, as I said in the past, I used to have these kind of people who would do it in a way where they just wanted to put me down. There was no purpose to it. They weren't trying to boost me up. They weren't trying to make me a better human being. They just were trying to put me down, right? And so as a 14-year-old, you might have a little bit of a hard time kind of calling people out, obviously, right? A lot of the people, a lot of times the people that we need to call out are actually close friends and sometimes even family right i'm sorry about the ringtone in the back i think it's from the outside um so a lot of times the people that we need to call out are actually friends and family which is i understand sometimes a very hard thing to do right that's one of the reasons why I, of course i don't live with my family also the fact that i don't live uh, I don't spend a lot of time with a lot of people that I hang out with. Are very, there are very few people that I actually hang out with. Most of the time, I spend as much as possible, as much as time possible by myself. Right? I want to spend time on my own, by myself, because I can do my work with a little bit more impact that way. I'm not wasting time with other people. I'm not wasting my energy on other people. And I'm not wasting our, my self-esteem on other people when they're trying to put me down or trying to criticize me in a way that doesn't make any sense, right? As I said, there are people in your life, I'm sure, that do it in a way where they're trying to enhance you, right? And so as you get a little bit older and as you get a little bit more aware of yourself as an individual, you're going to learn that the, the difference between the two people, right? And also you're going to learn what you truly are about. I know my skills, I know my strengths, and I know my weaknesses. I know myself extremely well and so I know when someone is saying something that's a falsehood about me when they're trying to put me down in a way where it's not true to me then I know that they're just bullshitting right so when someone is trying to give me true honest feedback I know because I know that's a weakness of mine right and so I know when people are trying to do things in a way because I know who I am now right I really worked upon myself for, for decades now and I really have watched myself observed myself and really written all of this stuff down. I know, now I'm not saying I'm never gonna change, but I know a lot about myself, right? And there's still gems of wisdom coming from my friends all the time when they observe something that I don't know. But I never take it in a negative way now because I know what it is. I know who I am and I know where it's coming from, right? Because all the friends that are surrounding me right now are doing it from a place of joy and love. They're doing it because they wanna make me a better person. They're not doing it to put me down. And so that intention really matters as well. So as I said, I really do recommend if you guys have that same situation where you feel like when you're by yourself, you feel great and then you leave your apartment or your cave and all of a sudden you feel like crap, it's because of the people that you're surrounding yourself by. The people that you surround yourself with, right? Those negative people, 
they're the kind of people you need to get rid of right away or as much as possible do not hang out with them right you don't necessarily have to hang out with negative toxic people we do it as a choice sometimes you know because it feels good or it feels bad you know sometimes you are addicted to feeling bad as INFJs and so be careful about the people you surround yourself with and this is very important spend as much time alone as possible right it's all right to feel good by yourself and to be by yourself it's okay you know at, at this age, age specifically you're a 14 year old you're a teenager you're going through a bunch of changes you're learning about yourself you're growing as an individual especially being a female INFJ in this world right now an empath and a highly sensitive person there's a lot of stuff going on with you I'm sure so it's all right to spend as much time as you want by yourself you're trying to figure yourself out you're trying to figure out what your space is you're trying to figure out your life purpose what did what are you here to do right what is your perfect why are you on this planet at this moment in time and so there's a lot of questions I'm sure that are kind of banging around in your head and you have to answer those and in order to answer those you can't do it when there are people around clamoring for your attention you have to do it when you're by yourself in your safe space feeling good about yourself answering the important questions right so I've said a lot in this video I hope that some of it kind of jives with you Anna and also with other viewers or listeners who are kind of experiencing the same thing now of course a lot of the all of this stuff has to do with self-love and self-esteem if someone if your armor and if your self-love for yourself is so strong right if your self-love is so strong that your armor is like it's like it's thick right it's like a wall it's like really thick no matter what someone else says to you it won't matter to you because you know who you are you know where your strengths are you know what your weaknesses are so that bullets you know all those bullets of negativity that are coming at you they're just gonna bounce off they're gonna be like all right cool yeah I heard it fine cool thank you it won't bother you right but that takes a little bit of time to get to right and so as you go through the journey you just have to spend some time a lot of time probably by yourself learning about yourself and learning about the things that you love about yourself right of course you have flaws you're a human being but there's a lot of things that are good about you as well right and so those are the things that are going to enhance you they're going to boost you up and those are the things your talents and abilities that you're going to use in order to make an impact on this planet right I hope again as I said this makes sense if you have any other questions at all if you have further questions on it or if I can help further in any way please message me anytime Anna and obviously other viewers as well thank you for the question Anna I hope that I was able to answer it if you guys have any questions about this video topic or any other topic at all please message me anytime and I shall see you guys in the next video bye for now